Okay, notice that first, if there is an indirect object or listener, use tell. Second, if there is no indirect object or listener, use say. For example, Fred told you to call me, not Fred said me. Next example, mother always says be quiet to the children, not mother always tells. You can say something to someone. For example, Larry said goodbye to his girlfriend and left the phone booth. Next, what did she say on the phone to the police? In these two sentences, girlfriend and phone are objects of prepositions. They are not indirect objects. In these cases, say must be used. All right, now we're ready to practice say and tell. Hmm, what did your mother say to you before you left today, Linda? Uh, she told me not to forget to buy a new phone card. I have to call my friend in Seville tonight. Good job, Linda. Alberto, what did your mother tell you? Uh, she said that I must uh, remember her new work number. I forgot it yesterday. Uh, it is four, six, no, it's four, three, six, nine, zero, six, five. Okay, that's not too difficult to remember. Sylvia, what did your father say to you? He told me not to lose my cell phone again. I lost one last week. They are expensive. Yes, they are. You should be careful. Thank you very much, everyone. Now I am telling you to look and listen. Look and listen. Ken told his brother to stop talking on the phone. Paul's mother always says that we speak on the phone too often. The operator is telling Adam to call back later. Stephen said he lost his phone cart. Read and repeat. Now let's look at question forms using say and tell. Let's look at some examples. Didn't you say anything to mother about her answering machine? Next, don't we always tell father how much the phone bill is? Okay, let's practice. Let's try negative forms and question forms using say and tell, okay? I will ask Alberto a question. Alberto, after you answer, you ask Linda a question. And then, of course, Linda, you ask Sylvia a question. Okay. Alberto, didn't you tell me to bring the new telephone book to school? Yes, I told you to please bring it. We don't have the new one. Okay, now ask Linda a question. Linda, did you say to your mother that you lost your cell phone? No, I didn't say anything to her. She will be very angry. Sylvia, do you think I should tell my mother? Yes, I think you should tell your mother. Your mother is nice. She will understand. Great. Good job, everyone. Thank you. Now, I say to you, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. The phone company didn't tell its customers about the new number. Don't tell mother we lost the phone book. She didn't say anything to John after he lost her cell phone. The woman said goodbye and left the phone booth. Read and repeat.
ask. Now let's look at ask. Please take a look at some examples. Please ask Jim to speak slowly on the phone. Anne asked for a new cell phone. Ask the man in the phone booth if he is almost finished. Paul didn't ask his brother for the money for the phone bill. We use ask for orders and requests. In the first sentence, the speaker wants John to speak more slowly. In the second sentence, Anne requested a new cell phone. In the third sentence, the speaker wants the man to finish. And in the fourth sentence, Paul didn't request the money from his brother. Okay, now let's practice ask. Let's try asking, excuse me, let's try using ask in our sentences. Sylvia, can I ask you a question? Of course you can. You are the teacher. Okay. Did you buy a new cell telephone yet? No, I didn't ask my mother. She will probably say no. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why don't you ask Linda a question, Sylvia? Okay. Linda, may I ask for your phone number? Of course you can. You are my friend. My number is 679-5050. Thank you, Linda. Now I can call you when I need help with my homework. <laughs> okay, Linda, please ask Alberto a question. Do you know if the theater has a telephone number? Mm, I asked them for their new numbers, but they gave me the old number. All right, good job, everyone. Now I am asking you to look and listen. Look and listen. Ask Ted if I can use his phone card. Ask your sister to please pick up the phone. Alan asked the operator for his friend's new number. You should ask the operator for information. Read and repeat. Review. All right, now let's review what we've learned. Linda, you will say two sentences using ask. Sylvia, please tell us two sentences using tell. And Alberto, two sentences with say. Okay, are you ready? Yes. yes. Linda, please tell us your sentences. Okay, I ask my brother to hang up the phone and I always ask my friends to leave a message when they call. All right, very good. Sylvia? Uh, I told my friend to speak louder on the phone. The woman told her boss to call back later. Wonderful. Okay, remember with tell, there must be a listener. Alberto, your sentences? Okay, um, I always say leave a message to my friends. The operator said to try the number again. All right, very good. Remember, when you use say, there is no listener. Thank you, everyone. Now, let's learn how to leave a message. Please take a look at some examples. Andy called me an hour ago. I took a message. He said you can call him tomorrow. Next. Your sister called. I took a message but forgot to ask for a number. Are you angry? Okay, many times the person the caller wants to talk to is not home. So if you answer the phone, you should take a message. You should get information from the caller. You should learn the caller's number and the name and when she wants a return call. The caller may also want to know where the person is at the moment. Let's look at this conversation. Listen as you read. 
Hi, Petra. Is your mother there? No, she's not here. She went to the market. Can I take a message? Yes, you can. This is Ellen, isn't it? Yes, this is Ellen. Okay, what's your number, Anne? When should she call you back? I'm at work. She can call me at six four six five three five three. Tell her to call me back in one hour. I will. Thanks for calling. Bye. So we can see that Petra took the caller's name, telephone number, and a good time for her mother to call her back. It is not always important to find out where the caller is. Let's practice. Let's make a phone call and take a message. We will try a role play, okay? So here's your role play. Sylvia, you are calling Alberto. Alberto and Linda, you are studying together. Linda went to the store to buy a new pen. And you take a message for Linda. I will start. I will call Alberto now. Okay. Hello. Hello, Alberto. This is Sylvia. What are you doing? Oh, Sylvia. Hi. I am studying. You should studying too. I am studying. Is Linda there? Oh, I am sorry. She is not here. She went to the store. She will be back here in 30 minutes. That's bad news. I need to speak with her now. Mm, I can take a message for Linda. Okay. Uh, what's your telephone number? And when can, when can she call you back? Uh, my number is 431-7233. She can call me back in one hour. Okay, I will tell her. Goodbye, Sylvia. Thank you, Alberto. Bye-bye. Very good, very good. And later... Welcome back. I found a great black pen. Did you study? Yes, I did. Sylvia called. She wants you to call her back. Okay, when? Mm, in one hour. Oh, did you take her number? Yes, I did. Thank you. Great job, everyone. Bravo. <laughs> now, my message is, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. She always forgets to ask for a time to call back. Your boss took a message for you. You must call your mother in one hour. That wasn't a good message you left on my answering machine. Read and repeat. Listen and write. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write the sentences. John told his mother to call a doctor. John said to his mother, please call a doctor. Ask the operator for information. Lyle never asks if he can take a message. I wanted to leave a message, but Al said it wasn't necessary. Please tell Damien to use a phone card next time. Mother didn't say anything to me about a message from Betty. Judy called and said to call her back in 10 minutes. There is an advertisement for that restaurant in the yellow pages.